Hi planner friends, it's Jessica. Welcome back to another plan with me in the Erin Condren Life Planner. So this is the first week that we have all the days in the same color scheme for June. So I thought it would be great to pull out my Hello June kit by Little Miss Papery. So in this kit we have a page of full boxes, full box checklists, littles, some washies, and additional boxes and additional headers, kind of our functional sheet here with a bunch of icons. These are my favorite, honestly, the little kiss cut ones. I feel I could plan my whole week out with them. And our little page of headers that say to do, today, little list, and a bunch of extras. Now this kit didn't provide any bottom washi. So this will be the first time that I have pulled some out from my stash to put down in that area. Hopefully the colors I chose work all right. And I'm still trying to get used to my new routine, having my son home with me. So not a lot of interesting things are scheduled, but of course I'm going to set my planner up so I could use it this week. So I hope you enjoy this plan with me, and I'm going to try to make this one a little bit faster. Let me know if you like longer or shorter versions. I'd love to know in the comments. And let's get started. I'm going to start with the washi down at the bottom. Okay, with the washi down, I think I'm going to go ahead and start moving up this way and put down my to-dos. So we have my full boxes and our to-do headers that I'll place on top. I'm going to continue moving up using the littles and the little list headers. I know that I will put down a dinner per night, a TV per day, and maybe one other little that will best apply to me per day. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with those, and then we will top it off with the little list header. Now that I got my littles down, I'm going to go ahead and keep moving upwards. And what I think I'm going to do is use a mixture of half boxes and these three larger washi strip pieces to go above my littles list because this row will have my full boxes. And I'm hoping that putting these down first, if my full boxes overlap, it'll be okay. Now I'm going to go in with my full boxes and just line them up right underneath the header. Then I'll put my today header above it. I want to use the Hello June up in this corner over the thankful thought. Okay, and then I think I'll just go ahead and follow this pattern here. I'm going to skip this one though. It says, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. That's really cute, but I think I want to save that for some other time. So I'm just going to go ahead and start putting my full boxes down. Then I will top it off with the two-day headers. Alright, so we have the main structure down here, so what I'm going to do is flip on over and we'll start working on the sidebar. So for in my sidebar, I went ahead and pulled out all that we have here and I'm going to pretty much tell you what I'm going to do, then I'm going to set it down. So we have this gorgeous gold glittered habit tracker. I'm going to place that down right below this Hello June full box to track my Instagram posts for the week. I'm going to take these additional headers and use them above my extra checklist boxes. I will do one 
to buy to track my spending for the week and then I will do the other two don't forget and important because I think those are pretty general and then I could decide what I want to write in them and just for safety measures I'll take this really cute decorative washi and place it down at the bottom in case we have any leftover space at the bottom and I'm just gonna go ahead and start stacking those up in my sidebar now So my layout is all finished and I'm actually really in love with the way these colors came together. So I'm going to start doing a little bit of pre-planning and so I will zoom you on into the day and we'll just go day by day as I place a few reminders down. So to pre-plan, I think all I really need are these adorable little icons that she has available. If I need any labels, I may use the additional littles and maybe cover it up with an icon or something but we'll see what we could do first i noticed this adorable feather and this sticker right down here which represents little miss papery and i thought i would go ahead and kind of decorate the side right here with these and then we'll go ahead and now move on to monday monday is typically my big cleaning day I know at least for a fact I have to do the laundry in the house so I'm gonna put down this uh, daily chores right smack down in the center of my today box cuz that's probably my main focus I also love to put a coffee cup down on Mondays because I need a boost of energy after a weekend and kinda of being a little bit lazy so that's my representation to wake up and smell the coffee and start a new week on Tuesday, I'm going to go ahead and place down this adorable little me time. I'm not sure if it'll work out. Like I said, I'm just starting to get used to my new routines with my son home, but hopefully I will have a day where I can do something that's just me time related. I like to do crafts or DIYs or maybe just even just relax on the couch with a bowl of ice cream and watch some Netflix. <laughs> On Wednesday, my son has his baseball practice. So what I'm gonna do is take a little that I don't think I'm gonna need. It's this little laundry one. And I did order some little baseball labels, but I think I'm trying to stay all within this kit. So I will take, I think that's kind of cute. It's an exclamation, but it reminds me of a baseball bat. So I think that would be cute. Maybe if I tilt it like so, this could represent going to baseball practice. All right, let's flip on over to the second half of the week here. We're on Thursday. So on Thursday, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time editing and preparing some videos. So I'm gonna put this adorable laptop down to represent that's what I'll be doing during the day, a lot of editing. I also have a credit card bill. I need to stay on top of that with Etsy. So I put my little bill due here for Thursday. Make sure I stay on top of all my spending. Friday is my favorite day of the week because once my husband gets home, I feel that's when we start our weekend. So. I really think these little balloons are super cute to mark TGIF. So I'm just going to have them floating next to Friday. I also need to go stop by my P.O. box to see what Happy Mail has arrived. So to do that, I'm going to take one of the gorgeous gold glitter labels, or littles. It's a little, and then I'm going to cover up the icon that's in this little with her adorable little happy mail. And then I'm going to take the date night little icon from the kit and place it right here and then I can write what we do on Friday night. Now date night usually does include my son, just so you know. <laughs> I really don't want to cover up how beautiful this full box is here on Saturday, but I do want to go ahead and put down this lazy day dot on behalf of my husband, it's the day he gets to sleep in. 
Also, we like to go out and do something fun as a family since this kit is offering a marquee. I'm going to place it down. Even if we don't go to the movies, I like to use this to write down what we do end up doing or where we end up going. On Sunday, I just mostly do my social media. I upload my Erin Condren plan with me. So I make sure to hop on my Facebook and Instagram. So what I think I'm going to do is give myself a little space using, let's do maybe the red. Let's do this bright red piece of washi right in the center of Sunday. And then I am going to use this little plan, planner icon. And I think I'll go ahead and take the camera as well to represent Instagram. And there we go. I have all my pre-plan icons down. So let me zoom you back out and we'll look at the full spread. Okay, so here's my full spread for the week of June the 6th through the 12th, and I really love the way that it turned out. I don't know what it is about Little Miss Papery kits, but they always seem to make me really happy. Just to give it a little finished touch, I am going to clip on my new tassel that I got by Paper Princess. That's Kiera, also known as Paper Princess Plants here on YouTube. So I think that's super cute. If you enjoy planning with me, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And until I see you guys again, have a lovely day. Bye-bye.